We lost a true comedy legend this morning. Rest in peace, Harold Ramis. That's what's trending now. Though perhaps best known to movie audiences as Egon Spangler from Ghostbusters, writer, director, producer, actor Harold Ramis was behind a lot of everyone's favorite comedies. Sadly, we lost him this morning from complications of autoimmune inflammatory vasculitis, a rare disorder. He was 69 years old. Let's say this Twinkie represents the normal amount of psychokinetic energy in the New York area. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. Ramis started his career in entertainment at the underground comedy collective TVTV, TV, then joined Chicago's Second City Improvisational Troupe, eventually becoming the first head writer and a performer on the seminal sketch comedy series SCTV. Here's a segment from 1976. And where did I learn to handle a stethoscope? At the North American Stethoscopy Institute. And with their advanced courses, someday I may be a fully licensed stethicopologist, or do stethicopological research, or even learn electron stethicophotographology. Along with fellow Second City collaborators John Belushi and Bill Murray, Ramis moved on to work with National Lampoon. It was with this team that he wrote the script that would change everything. Animal House. This could be the greatest night of our lives. But you're gonna let it be the worst. Oh, we're afraid to go with you, Pluto. We might get in trouble. We'll just kiss my ass from now on! Ramis went on to write the script for the classic camp comedy Meatballs, starring Bill Murray, and then made his directorial debut with Caddyshack. You're playing golf and you're going to like it. What about my asthma? I'll give you asthma. Ramis then moved on to a featured on-screen role in Stripes, again with Murray. Ramis would go on to direct more films, including National Lampoon's Vacation, the Analyze This series, Multiplicity, and the widely acclaimed 1993 comedy Groundhog Day. Ned Ryerson? Bing! Bing! His final film as a director was 2009's Year One, with Jack Black and Michael Cera. Go ahead and... Okay, uh, I'm here. That kid's got an arm. There's two of us! Ramis leaves behind wife Erica, two sons, and two grandchildren, but we're all gonna miss him. Here he is on the set of Year One with some thoughts about his process. How I do my work, I think a lot about it. And it's not just about what will be funny or what's, what's popular right now. It's, uh, I torture myself with what I really want to say to an audience. And no matter how silly the jokes get, I've, I've forced myself to constantly ask, is this true to what I'm trying to say? Is it true to reality as I see it? And is it good for people? What's your favorite Harold Ramis movie? Let us know in the comments below and we'll read our favorite responses in a future video. Subscribe to What's Trending for more breaking news and trends from around the web and click right here to the right to see our look ahead at Google's top secret project, Tango.